Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and surviving this awful heat. <clears throat> Boy, did I have a scare today. I I'm the type of person that if I start something, I have to finish it. I don't know why, I guess I'm like my mom. But nobody's like her. She was superhuman, let me tell you. Even when she was 79 years old, right before she got Parkinson's, she could just go on and on and on. Even more than the, what was it called, Energizer Bunny? I don't know how she did it. She would be always hot and sweating and just continue whatever she was doing. She loved to hang laundry out. She'd come over and hang my laundry. I like to hang laundry too. And I'm like, it's so hot. We have a dryer. What are you doing? Oh, she just loved it. And she would be outside with the kids and it was hot. And I remember we had a pool and she would just um, either go in or just put her head in the water to cool off, but she, she'd get really hot, and, uh, I know she had freckles, I don't know if that's why her face would get so red, I don't know, but she would just be drenched in sweat and just doing and doing, and she loved to pick, um, weeds out of the garden, I hate that job, so I had this weed picker thing, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, it's like a little, <clears throat> A, a thing you hold with a handle and at the bottom it's got like two prongs oh she loved it and she would do it with her hands too but I, I bought that I said here at least do this and she would just do it in sweat and she'd put a a wet towel on the back of her neck and I'm like how can you go on how can you do this you know and in between helping me run around with the who did I have four littles at once oh my gosh I don't know how the summers you know when the kids are just learning to walk and you got to always chase them, and I don't know how she did it. I just don't know. But I guess from, you know, working, it was a joy to her to come here. And she played a big part in our lives. She was here. She had a key to my house. I let her over whenever I want, whenever I wanted. Whenever she wanted, she'd come when I wasn't here. This, my house was her house. So anyhow, today, not unlike any other day, I thought I'm going to start on something. So I have these... I'm trying to clean out my house's stuff, you know. Imagine when you have kids, you have stuff, right? Multiply that by eight kids, and I have stuff. And I even, I sadly have stuff from my ex-husband, the first one, in my basement still. There's a junk company that they come for free and clean it out. I'm so near doing that. But I know I have some things I could sell in the basement. I have to just find them. They're probably pushed back. The thing is, when I go in the basement, I get very, very bad allergies, and I'm afraid I'm going to get an asthma attack. So I'm trying to talk my daughter into doing it for me. Of course, I'd have to pay her, and then I'd call the company. But anyhow, <coughs> I go down the basement little by little, look through the stuff. My mom, she used to, oh my gosh, every time I had a garage sale, she would pull everything back in the garage, finally get everything out of my garage. <coughs> But um, pull it back in the basement. She did, I don't know what her problem was. So besides accumulation of eight kids, everything I tried to sell them did So, but you know, seeing her her handwriting on bins and stuff, it just it's sad. It's bittersweet. But anyhow, so today I was working on some bins that I was gonna put for um, you know, to uh, donate and some things to like put away, like I put a bin away for Polly was special like his coming home to the hospital outfit and things like that and um, just you know organize what's what and what's where and then you know put it back whatever so anyhow I got really hot literally I could wring out my pajamas so I changed into my shirt I have my pajamas and a shirt that I have for at home and my uh, couple shorts and shirts for not home I hung it up and um, <clears throat> started all over again, jumped in the shower. You know, sometimes I think going in the shower is worse. You come out and you're just hotter than whatever. But um, I kept on going, kept on going, sweated all through again, took some paper towels, wet myself down because I just, I don't think I could even stand up long enough in a shower. I just kept going and pushing and pushing. Then I ordered an Instacart, hoping it would come, but it was early enough. I thought it might. And the girl did pretty good, I must say. I mean, I didn't order much because, you know, I never know if it's going to work out or not. 
I bought a pack of ice cream bars for Polly and me and, um, you know, other stuff. I bought potatoes, carrots, milk. Milk, we just go through milk a lot. Bought some water bottles because uh, we can't drink tap water. And water is something that Polly, I don't know, I just don't know how to make him drink water. Oh, he was doing so good after he got so sick and almost died. <clears throat> but um, he almost got sepsis. Well, he was getting sepsis. They saved him. They, they uh, what's it called? Oh, it was so hot. Fluid resuscitated him. But anyhow, so I'm just pumping water all the time to him and I. But I just got all of a sudden, I stopped sweating, and then I, um, my body was so warm. So I was taking paper towels, wetting them, putting them on the back of my neck. I put a migraine pin on my head to cool that. I was just taking paper towels and just wiping my arms and legs down. I was just, I felt really weak. I knew I couldn't stand in the shower. I really wanted a shower chair so I could sit in it because just with my neck, it's very hard to stand very long. You think the, the water would help, but nothing helps anymore with my neck. <clears throat> so anyhow, I was just trying to do that with the fan. And um, I just couldn't cool, and I wasn't sweating anymore. And I just started feeling sick to my stomach, and I thought, oh my gosh, it must have got heat exhaustion or something. I don't know. <coughs> so I, was, <coughs> I started coughing, but I hope that's just from, you know, stuff in the basement's kind of dusty. <coughs> I hope, I hope, I hope that's all it is. Of course, my mind always goes to, you know, the horrible thing, and now the new horrible thing that's going around. But anyhow... So I sat down, I kept saying, okay, God, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to sit down. And I remember I was throwing some stuff out, and I'm like, okay, God, this is where the footprint prayer comes in. This is where you got to carry me because I can't do it alone. So I'm trying to put the garbage outside. I put it too heavy, oh, and I just pushed myself, and I shouldn't have. But anyhow, so, you know, I'm in front of the fan trying to cool myself down. It's not working. And I started getting the chills, but I was hot. And I turned the fan down, off. I, I didn't know what to do. But I was really getting worried. Um, Polly's room was getting warm, too. I told him he had to get out of that room. And he's one, you know, in the summer he likes to sleep. I says, you can't. It just, you know, he likes to sit up a little later. And then, you know, he sleeps longer, which isn't good. I says, we just, you can't do it. You got to get up before the heat starts. I mean, the last few nights it's been 85. Well, our house has been 92 and not all night long. It's terrible. But anyhow, so I'm there, and he was okay. I don't know. He can tolerate the heat. I don't know. It depends on the days. It depends how he's doing. Like, t he hasn't been doing good. He's with his neurogenic bladder and his kidneys and all kinds of things. And the doctor visit, um, they never called us back. I was so looking forward to going because he needs he needs some intervention here. This is not, not going good with him. But anyhow, I just couldn't. So then... Finally, I said to him, I'm going to go in his room and lay down or just sit down, whatever, in that <laughs> little bit of tiny air, whatever. And I'd fallen asleep. <laughs> I guess it's from years of not sleeping. So I slept some. Um, I still wasn't sweating. Got up. <laughs> I think I went in the room at like 8 and got up at 11.30. I missed the news. I remember Polly was... Knocking on the door saying, Mom, the news, the news, he knows I like, like it. So now I, I'm in the kitchen with the fans. My body seems cool enough. Oh, yeah, I did take my temperature when this was all going on. It was 97.2, so my body heat wasn't hot. You know, so I don't know. I just got heat exertion, I guess. I overdid it. So again, I'm asking God's, God's help that, to help me not do this stupid thing again. Once I feel hot, I have to stop. This is, I can't, you know, because of pain, my toothaches, everything just sucks the life out of me. I just, I don't have it in me. So, um, I got a lot done, but the price is not worth it. So, my body isn't hot, but I turned the fan on and it's just giving me the chills, which shouldn't, it's hot, so I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to drink. I forgot to order Gatorade, of course, in the order. I'm going to try tomorrow to order some. Uh, thank God I didn't go to the store. I was gonna. I, I would have passed out for sure. I really would have. You know, stores are air conditioned, but once you're in there a few minutes, it doesn't feel like it. And plus, with this new variant, I'm trying not to go out anywhere. So, um, I'm gonna um, 
just order some. The thing is, they charge so much. You gotta order $35 first of all, and all those fees. And the one credit card I have only has like, I think, three or $500 limit. I'm gonna call and ask if they could raise it because I always, when I use it, I have to pay it right away because I'll have to use it again. Ah, just a mess. So I don't know. I was really scared today. I told Polly, you know, if I pass out or something, just call 911. It was just an awful, awful day. I feel drained. I feel like, you know, after you've been really sick. So I hope I learned my lesson not to push myself. I hope you're all doing good. I hope you have air conditioning and staying cool. This is in inhumane. I've asked Polly's father over and over to get a thing. Is we need one of those standing air conditioners because, um, we have the windows that slide back and forth. They're awful. You have to uh, you have to build it up the whole thing, and you have to have a thing. Well, I don't know if all outside air conditioners. You have to have a like bracket thing, and I can't do all that. I mean, I pretty much can do everything, but I can't do that. And the <coughs> only window in the kitchen you can do it to. It's very different shape, so to build it up, you need a lot of stuff. You need wood, which costs a fortune. I can't do any of this. This is way out of my realm. So, you know, he just walks around with all his money and doesn't give a crap. But we all know that. But that would be so great if I had a standing air conditioner in the kitchen. And Polly and I could cool off. I'd sleep at the kitchen table. I, I don't care. This heat is just overwhelming. But, yeah, please be careful. Don't go on the heat once you start feeling hot. Don't even get to the point where you're sweating. Just don't. Don't, don't do this. you got to watch your health. So I hope you're all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, share, share, and caring. Don't forget to pay for it because it's going to your heart, Polly's heart, and my heart. Don't forget to share our YouTube channel and our GoFundMe. Every penny helps. Every view helps. And it's nice to hear people and make videos. I'm hoping I, could, I started Sandy Sweets, hoping I could get something done. This house is so darn hot, it's ridiculous. But I wish we get some, like, 75 even degrees weather. It would be such a break. So for now, everyone, please stay safe. Bye.